What's up guys? Corey here with Toothless Reptiles in San Diego. We have another amazing unboxing for you guys today. Um, I decided to do this unboxing in the other side of the uh, large enclosure that I usually do the videos in so you guys can see this side of it. Um, but if you're on Instagram, you're only going to get a minute of this video, so make sure to go onto our YouTube channel, Toothless Reptiles, and you can watch the entire unboxing, as well as visit our website, check out our Instagram, follow us, like us, all that good stuff, Facebook page. This is another amazing lizard that we were going to add. We are going to add to the Toothless Reptiles family over here. Um, we are going to provide her a permanent home, hopefully. So um, we actually are expanding and building a uh, large monitor breeding facility down here in San Diego in 2019, which is next year. And we're hoping to, um, I'm not going to expand the scope of, you know, working with other species. I can't really do that. I don't have the time for it. Um, I have a normal job. So uh, what, but what I would like to do is to try my hand at some of the, uh, some more of the croc monitors, um, as well as the Bell's Face laces that we already have, and to see, I want to build some huge enclosures with full-size trees. That's always been my dream, is to have like, you know, like the first Jurassic Park when they had the raptors in that huge enclosure and they lowered the cow down into it. Like, I want enclosures like that where it's basically a cut out of a natural environment and there's no ceiling height, you know, I can have a 10 foot tall tree that they can climb with nesting areas and all that good stuff. Um, that's what I want. So we're hoping to build the 30 foot by 60 foot um, industrial building on, uh, on my property and then we can outfit it from there. I'm gonna have concrete sprayed. We should have like all concreted in ponds and and nice everything. So that's that's the plan for 2019. Just wanted to throw that out there. But right now, we got to get to unboxing this girl. She's come all the way from Wisconsin. She's probably full of cheese right now. So we want to get her out. And um, a lot of people don't know, but FedEx actually offers what's called first priority overnight now. And uh, geez, they went crazy on the taking on this thing. Um, but uh, <laughs> but um. So Priority Overnight will deliver before 10.30 a.m. local time, so your time, um, the person who's receiving. And uh, First Priority Overnight actually delivers before 8.30. So it's actually 7.45 in the morning in San Diego right now, and I already got this girl. So if you want to pay for the extra stuff and um, your area offers it, because some areas don't offer it, um, you absolutely can get your animals faster. We got plenty of tape, <laughs> but um, this female, this is actually a female. Um, she is most likely cycling right now. She's super tame. She's actually the sister to Toothless. Um, her name is Onyx. She came from a man named Josh in uh, Wisconsin, and he is um, he's actually a really cool dude. I spent hours talking to him about not monitor lizards at all, <laughs> to be honest. Uh, we're both car guys, and we both, you know, we both have hobbies and stuff outside of this stuff. So, um, but yeah, so we're going to make sure that she's okay. Hey, girl. You all right? You okay, girl? Yeah. So, seems like she, she's fine. She's not hot or, or cold, and she's moving around, which is good. Um, he was nice enough to shove some, uh egg crates on one side so she couldn't really move around and um hi i know it's a little awkward unboxing her in in here okay i know we'll get you out um but i wanted to unbox her in the enclosure just because i thought it'd be cool for you guys to see but i know did you poop did you poop or pee you probably did hold on i'm gonna get you out girl we're gonna set you free But as you probably guessed, if she's the sister of Toothless, she is a vital exotic black dragon. 
um, all of the females that I breed actually are vital exotics animals. Um, the males, however, are all wild caught, fresh, fresh genetics, if you want to call call it that. They're all just, you know, amazing animals. Here, let's get you down. How should I get you out? Because I don't want this box to just fall into the damn pond. Yeah. Hey, girl. Come here, girl. Hey. Exactly like toothless. Hey, she got a little burn on the back of her head. That probably happened when she was much smaller, I would imagine. Hey, come here. Oh, big girl. There you go. Oh my gosh. Look at you. She's gorgeous. Look at her. So, uh, this is Onyx, and she <laughs> she is massive. Oh, you're such a good girl. Here you go. Here, let's get you down here. And you can hang out for a second. There you go. There you go. I know you're confused. But we're going to take good care of you here. Yep. Hold on to there. So let's get this stuff out. And I'll grab the, uh, the camera off of the tripod. And we can uh, take a look at her. Just make sure that... She's all good, which she does. She looks amazing. She's tongue flicking and looking around, which is always the first thing you want to look for. Hey, girl. Look. So she looks really, really good. Um, she's, hi. Hi, girl. So we just want to make sure she gets settled in and um, she starts digging because she looks like she's She's definitely, she's definitely cycling. So um, I don't know how far along into her cycle she is, but um, if we can breed her to my male, I guess we will, but um, I just wanna make sure she's all right before we get going with any of that stuff. It doesn't really matter if we miss a cycle. So pretty cool. Thanks for watching. Check us out online. We actually have baby black dragons hatching right now, so make sure to grab one or reserve one or whatever you can do to get one. Um, our next clutch won't be hatching until January of 2019, so make sure to get one now while you can. Pretty cool. Keep feeding.